Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome to a reading all about the person that will be your future partner. What do you need to know about them? And who are they? <laughs> um, any traits or characteristics that we can figure out from the tarot? I am going to be doing individual spreads for each sign. So Taurus will get a spread, Virgo and Capricorn as well. And from the air signs, it's going to be about an average of like eight minutes for each sign. I'll have the timestamps uh, in the description box if you want to jump ahead to a different sign. So let's start with Taurus. I'm going to be using a different deck for all of you as well. So I'm going to start with this deck for you for Taurus. Spirit Angels Guides for Taurus. What do they need to know about the person coming towards them? Wow, the Ten of Pentacles must be nice. What does Taurus need to know about the future partner coming towards them, Spirit? What do they need to know? Who is coming towards them at this time? For Taurus. What does Taurus need to know about this future partner coming towards them, Spirit? What, did, what does Taurus need to know about this individual? Oh, Page of Swords. Someone very intellectual. If I could say that word, <laughs> um, curious, uh, someone that speaks well, truthful. I'm getting young, a younger energy here. They might be younger than you or they just have a very young spirit, right? Like someone that's like putting their hands everywhere because they just they just love to know. Um, yeah. And the sun's at the bottom of the deck. So it's I'm, I'm getting a very happy, joy, like youthful energy from this card. I feel like the conversation is really what you're looking for Taurus whoever this is I feel like they're an open book and for some reason that makes you happy um, I'm getting like you know no secrets everything's out in the open with this individual they could also be an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius what else what else do we need to know what else do we need to know about this individual spirit two of swords so the two of swords is someone that's undecided they're unsure uncertain um, they're a bit blocked uh, about what they want to do, what they can do. Now, when I see the two of swords with the page of swords, I get someone that perhaps they're undecided about communicating something, unsure about communicating something. I feel like this person, though, is very open, though. Like, it could be that this person is very easy to talk to, but they're not very decisive, right? Like, maybe they are a bit closed off about the deeper things, a bit closed off about the really big decisions. Um, it's almost like I'm getting someone that's a bit protective, despite the fact that they're so open. Does that make sense? Um, I'm also getting that this could be your energy. Some of you watching could just be very guarded against this person. You're not as open as they are. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this future partner coming towards Taurus. What do we need to know about this individual? The Hermit. Oh yeah. Virgo energy there. I feel like this is someone who you're talking to them. You talk a lot, but they're, and they're very open, but they, they also have secrets. Um, I feel like this is someone that maybe they don't trust other people right away. You kind of have to take your time with them. Could be that you're trying to figure them out too soon <laughs> or you know you kind of want to get to those deeper conversations but i feel like this person is someone to be patient with um i don't get like secrets like in a bad way though it's almost like this person is reserved about private things let's see let's get um a clarifier for the hermit tell me more about this hermit energy okay we have the Magician, the Page of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. See, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing you trying to get information that someone might not want you to know right away. Like I'm getting you want them to be a Page of Cups, and a Page of Cups is someone that's very open with, like they wear their heart on their sleeve. You know exactly what they're thinking. And I feel like the Magician is almost like someone's trying to like get information um, in a page of cups level, but I feel like for some reason, I don't know. It, it's almost like someone doesn't really want you to know everything about them right away. 
Others of you, the Seven of Swords with the Page of Cups, I think of someone apologizing for past wrongs. That is, you know, something to think about. But, um, you know, with the Hermit here, it could be that someone has been withdrawn after, you know, maybe not behaving in the best way. Um, but I just don't pick that up as, as, as much. Like, I feel like this is someone that's kind of evading or avoiding certain topics because they don't want to open up that can of worms just yet. Um, and it could be for any reason, right? It could just be that this person is a, remember that youthful energy at the beginning of this reading? It could just be that they're not ready. They're, they don't have that depth yet, or maybe they don't think about things that deeply, right? Let's look at this two of swords because I'm curious. I feel like they're debating with themselves. Should I tell Taurus everything? You know, I feel like Taurus really wants to know things about me that I don't usually share. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Three of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like a waiting game here. Like they're waiting, right? They're waiting for a response, waiting for to take action. The Empress is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like Taurus, this is your energy. I think this person might be intimidated, to be honest. Maybe they just think that they don't want to tell you too much because they don't want to scare you off. Maybe they just think, well, if Taurus knew everything about me, I'm not going to be as mysterious. I'm not going to be as interesting. Or perhaps they'll run away like other people have. I feel like this person doesn't want to give up too much too soon. I don't know why. That's what I'm getting. Tell me more about this person's traits. What are their traits? Oh, okay. I didn't see which ones those were, but I'm going to just trust that spirit will bring out the card if it's meant to come out. What are this person's traits? I saw Earth sign, but I don't know if that's the card that came out. What do we need to know about this person, uh, Taurus's future partner? What do we need to know about them? Divine Feminine. So the Empress and Divine Fe Okay. And Aquarius, ruled by Uranus. This person can have Aquarius in their charts. Open and expressive at the bottom of the deck. Divine feminine. I feel like they want to open up to you. Again, I don't feel like this is someone that's trying to be deceptive. I just don't pick up that energy. <clears throat> the Aquarius card of this deck is also like the star, which is wishes, hopes, dreams, healing, having faith. I feel like this person wants you to trust them, even if they're not ready to be 100% open about everything right away. It could also be that they want to take their time to trust you, right, before they open up and tell you everything. And if you're dealing with an Aquarius, that, may, that makes a lot of sense. All right, let's get an Ever After Oracle. This is now available in my shop. It's linked in the description box if you're curious. What do we need to know about this individual coming towards Taurus? I feel like this person, like I was saying, they're kind of intimidated because you have a lot to offer. If you're showing up as a divine feminine, like you have a lot to offer and this person might not be able to give you what you're worth or feels like they're lacking in some way. Okay, we have into the woods, fear, uncertainty, karmic path. Yeah, there's a bit of uncertainty here and fear about where this could go or, you know, how do I play my cards right? Maybe this person has been already on a karmic journey where it has not gone down well. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have midnight, divine timing, countdown, soon. Yeah, there's like a waiting thing here. Um, an energy where there's like, wait, uh, the timing is important. Almost like they'll tell you at the right time or things will develop in the right time. Can we get one more energy please here? What does Taurus need to know about this individual? that they might not be aware of, any hidden factors, anything that Taurus needs to be aware of when it comes to this person. What does Taurus need to be aware of when it comes to this person coming towards them? Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. So what you need to know is that they're coming in with an offer and it has a lot of potential. I don't feel this is a player. I don't like, I just, again, I'm not picking up that energy. Sometimes I just feel it. But in this energy, I just, I, from the beginning, I never really felt like this was someone trying to play a game. I think this is someone that just is doing things on their, in, in the timing they feel most comfortable. And also they might tell you something that maybe, like I said, other people haven't been so understanding about. It could be anything. Like for example, maybe this person 
doesn't have a good relationship with their parents for whatever reason or they've made bad decisions in the past or something but i feel like their intention here is to have a an opportunity something stable something uh long lasting something with a lot of potential with the ace of pentacles any advice or guidance for taurus spirit advice guidance please for taurus between worlds yes this, this is all about being in a trans uh, transition sort of state going from the black and white to color um let me look at the keywords for that there's flexible at the bottom of the deck yeah i feel like taurus like you will probably need to be a little patient with this person and a little flexible transitions not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another temporary blindless no man's land this is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you're unable to see what is ahead. Trust the process of change and growth. So I feel like you need to be a little bit, I don't know, for some reason understanding with this person because they're not able to jump into your world and, you know, kind of like hit the ground running 100%. Like they cannot go at level 10. They want to start at level two and work their way up to 10. That's kind of what I'm getting. So let's see what we have for Virgo. I'm going to use a different deck for Virgo. Let's see what energies we get for Virgo regarding their future partner. Let's use this deck. All right, Virgo, let's see what is your future partner or what do we need to know about this future partner coming towards you spirit angels guides please messages guidance please for virgo regarding the person coming their way what does virgo need to know what does virgo need to be aware of who is coming towards virgo in the near future what do we need to know about their future partner spirit what do we need to know Wow, the sun. What a beautiful energy. Uh, someone that makes you very happy. This is celebrations. This is good news. This is joy. This is like radiance, like smiling from ear to ear. <laughs> the sun is also, um, you know, it's a card about light. You know, there's not a lot hidden. There's not a lot of shadowy energy. Like the sun is bright. It illuminates everything. Um I'm getting, uh, for some reason, it's with this card for you. I don't know why, but I feel the need to like bring out the fact that this is about a lightness, like a radiance for some reason. What else? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person coming towards Virgo? Like I'm getting a lot of positivity and optimism. Okay, let's see what else we got. What else do we need to know for a Virgo spirit regarding their future partner? Okay, I got two. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, amazing energy. Whoever this is, it might take some time to develop. It might take some time for this offer to come in with the Knight of Pentacles, but the offer is solid. The outcome is secure. <laughs> The Ten of Pentacles is like long-term stability, long-term security. Not only are you going to be happy, but also secure, stable. Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is coming after the end of a cycle, the end of a chapter for either you or this person coming towards you. Um, it's going to be kind of a uh, slow but steady, whatever this is, whoever this is. Um, and I love that energy. Let's find out more about this person. What else do you need to know about this individual coming towards Virgo? What do we need to know about this person coming towards Virgo? What do we need to know? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person coming towards Virgo? What do we need to know? This one intelligent logical and analytical so this is someone that is very smart logical analytical like it says this could be somebody that like really keeps you on your toes virgo 
I'm getting impressed. So this could be somebody that just like the minute they start talking or whatever they choose to talk about, you're like all attention. You're like, that's interesting. Never thought of that before or what, you know, uh, it's, it's almost like there's something about what they're saying or what they choose to talk about that's very intriguing to you. They could have also like a smart career. What else? What else? Uh, medicine for some of you. Maybe this could be somebody that works in medicine or in the sciences. Sagittarius ruled by Ju Jupiter. That is temperance energy as well um, from the major arcana. This Somebody could have Sagittarius in their chart um, or they could just exhibit characteristics of a Sagittarius or the temperance card. Again, slow and steady with temperance slowly coming into balance slowly having something kind of come together if this is a sagittarius very adventurous energy kind of up for all kinds of things um always kind of like thinking ahead on the go kind of energy and i, I feel like this is a good mix you know you have the smart and the intelligent side the logical side but you also have like a thirst for adventure right you also have like the um let, let's see what the world has for me okay if I could pick up my deck <laughs> let's get an ever after oracle here all right so let's see what else do we need to know about this person this person coming towards Virgo what else do we need to know pot of gold holy crap abundance stability and treasure that's like the ten of pentacles right there again this person might have a lot of money or is very stable. They probably have a really good job. I don't know. Stability must be important to you because there's stability written all over this reading. Um, bottom of the deck, we have sword, courage, defense, conflict. Um, this could be somebody that, I don't know. It, I'm getting like that they are go-getters. Direct. Direct go-getters. Um... I don't know. I feel like they put they keep you on your toes. Whoever this is, they're different. What else for Virgo? What do they need to know about this person that they might not be aware of? Any hidden factors, Spirit? Any hidden factors? What do they need to be aware of? What do they need to be aware of? Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning, a new adventure, uh, something fiery, something that's created. Um, you know, so there's passion here. There's it's, it's almost like there's like this. Let's go. Let's get this started. Um, I feel like this person again. I just want to say I feel like they keep you on your toes. They're going to inspire something from you or push you in a way that maybe others haven't. But it's exciting with them. It's it's passionate with them. You, you can't help but be kind of like, I'm getting almost like someone that's, what's that word? It's it's like infectious, you know? Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. So again, a lot of opportunity for growth, worth, value, um, abundance. Um, I feel like this is a really good, I don't know, it's like a really good mix of fun but stable. Any advice or guidance for Virgo? Spare any advice or guidance for Virgo regarding this person coming in to their lives. For Virgo, please. TikTok timing. This is going to happen in the right time at the speed it's supposed to. Bottom of the deck, we have new life. Oh, yeah. This could be um, something that's happening. Uh, I don't know. It's almost like there's something new, completely new about this person, about this relationship. And it's like the perfect time. You know, the time is now, you know, to like really try. Um, again, I feel like this is not someone you typically would go for, but I feel like this is the person for you. So let's jump to Capricorn and see what we have for them. this energy Let's see what Capricorn can expect in a future partner 
for Capricorn, Spirit Angels Guides. What messages do you have for Capricorn regarding their future partner, the person coming towards them, Spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person coming towards Capricorn? The person that is coming towards Capricorn. Capricorn's future partner. You know, the nine of wands. This is someone very guarded. Um, they've been through a lot. They're like the wounded soldier. They've been to war. They've come back. You could be dealing with a veteran, literally. Um, but I'm getting someone that they've been through hell and back. Whoever this is, they might be stronger for it. They might have a you know a little chip on their shoulder, or they might just be somebody that's very careful who they allow into their life who comes towards them, you know, they tend to be a bit wary of other people, not very trusting. Um, so this could be somebody that's just very careful with their heart. They've been through a lot, whoever this is. What else? What else for Capricorn's future partner spirit? What do we need to know about this individual? The fool, wow. Willing to take a risk, a leap of faith. Willing to try something new. Someone on a journey toward something new. I love this because I feel like this is true courage right here. This is someone that's been through a lot, but they're willing to still give this a shot. Um, there could be something new about you. Like maybe you are, you, you inspire them to take that risk, that leap of faith, right? Maybe you take them out of their shell or there's something about meeting you that changes things for them, right? Like they're no longer holding back and protecting themselves, but rather are like, well, how can I see where this goes? What else? What else do we need to know about this individual? What else do we need to know? Wow, the tower. Maybe they've gone through a tower in their life and that's why they're so beat up, so like, you know, crazy, uh, uh, protective. But it could also be that there's something unexpected about this person, something that shocks you or something that kind of keeps you on your toes. Um, it could be some sort of like reveal. Um, maybe they reveal something to you or, um, you know, they just show up and, and they, they kind of change the conversation on you. Like maybe you used to, talking something a certain way, like small talk or something, and then they just jump right in and be like, I like you. You're like, what? <laughs> Where did that come from? Um, oh, wow, the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So yes, this could be like a surprise or shocking or unexpected offer coming from this person. Um, whoever they, they are, they're kind of shooting their shot here is what it looks like. I also get the sense that this could be somebody free of difficulty right free of a difficult situation free of a difficult cycle a karmic cycle or something like that um let's see what else let's get some insight what else do we need to know about this person that capricorn might not know about spirit any hidden factors anything that capricorn needs to be aware of what does capricorn need to be aware of when it comes to this person What's Capricorn? Two of Swords. So this is someone that is undecided, unsure, a bit blocked, a bit guarded. I feel like what you need to know is that this person has been through a lot. And it's not like, you know, I feel like there's something different about your connection because of that. Like maybe they want to take things really slow. Maybe they are very careful about what they tell you in the beginning, right? Like they don't want to, you know... It's almost like I feel like this person, you know what else I'm getting? It's like they know how they feel, but they don't know if you're going to also like be open to them because maybe they just have too much going on. Like, you know, I could understand if you're unsure about me, uncertain about this connection. I would be uncertain too. I would be guarded too because the two of swords is someone that their arms are crossed, right? They're protective of their heart. Um, so I feel like no matter which boat you fall under, what you need to know about this person is they are going to be a bit guarded. They're not going to open up right away. And there's a reason for that. Let's get some insight. 
Anything else that we need to know about this individual coming towards Capricorn? Capricorn's future partner. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about their energy? Capricorn's future partner. Capricorn's future partner. What do we need to know about their energy? Oh, I got two. First is lucky, fortunate, and blessed. Interesting. And then we have warm, kind, and affectionate. Oh, that's so cute. I love that card. So I feel like this person, um, you know, again, credit to them because I feel like they are still kind and affectionate or you are kind and affectionate and you're like, this is, this is what I need, you know? And, and I feel like you're, there's something that you bring that they lack and vice versa. It's almost like, wow, we're so lucky to have found each other. <laughs> we're so lucky that this happened the way it did. Bottom of the deck, we have intense, profound, and earnest. Ooh, so there's like a, you know, a depth here. Um, I feel like this person will get you in a way that maybe others usually don't. Um, I am also picking up that this person brings out a side of you that maybe you're not used to. Eh. And I think it's probably because a side of you, okay. This person brings out a side of you that you don't usually share with others. Let me finish my sentence. But I'm also getting that this person you know, just, I don't know, it, it's almost like because you're taking things so slow, you're able to really have a deep trust in each other over time, you know? All right, let's get an ever after here. If I could shuffle, if I could get my life together, that would be great. Ever after is available now on Etsy. It's linked in the description box if you're curious. Capricorn, if you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, I would love to have you. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person coming towards Capricorn? Oh, that one almost came out. What else do we need to know, Spirit, about this person coming towards Capricorn? Mermaid, rebirth, transformation, renewal. I love that energy. I'm telling you, there's like a change that you experience or that they experience because they've met you. It's like you you had to meet for this to happen. Um, bottom of the deck, we have Fairy Godmother. A wish granted and happy changes. Oh, yeah. I love this energy, Capricorn. I feel like that's why someone feels so lucky. Because it's like if I hadn't met Capricorn, this and that would not be happening to me. Right? My life would be very different. I would be, you know, struggling a lot more. Or I wouldn't be as happy as I am now. Um something like that this person really feels like they've hit the jackpot with you or vice versa or maybe you feel that way about each other that'd be great any advice or guidance for capricorn spirit angels guides any advice or guidance for capricorn what does capricorn need to know what does capricorn need to know Wow, milk and honey, you're getting it all. That's all you need to know. This is like the ultimate happy ending, wishes granted, getting everything that you could possibly want with milk and honey. Let me look at the keywords for that just in case it might resonate for someone watching. The taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing, abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. You've entered a sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. Wow, I would love to be a Capricorn right now. Capricorn, this is great. I mean, I feel like this is some something, someone that comes into your life and changes it for the better. There's a transformation, a renewal, a rebirth, um, and that's beautiful to see. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Hopefully you enjoyed that reading. Uh, if you are still with me from the beginning, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you all so much for all of your support. If you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.